It's the SEC Baseball Conference opener today and a beautiful evening in Fayetteville. Bomb Stadium is the site of a top 10 matchup between number four Kentucky and the 10th ranked Arkansas Razorbacks. Yeah, Blaine Knight is a guy that's just a big time competitor. You'll see him really work the ball in and out, loves to pitch away from the right handed batter, so just kind of own that outside. And here's our first pitch. Lifted in the air to right field. Cole starts to drift. He's at the fence. And he may have robbed a home run to start the game. A team that leads the SEC at homers with 30, and they just about had number 31. They really did. That ball was hit right to the track. Cole times his jump perfectly and doesn't jump into the wall. The fielder steps in, hitting 338. He lifts one to right. Two pitches, two outs, an economical beginning for Black Knight. Here's another payoff. In the air to center. Fletcher turning and running. Nearing the track in the inning ends. Three fly ball out, but Blaine Knight puts up a zero. Four degrees doesn't hurt either. Ball hits one in the air to left center field. This ball starts the track, and it's going to go. Fifth of the year for Eric Cole. And it's the Hogs who strike first against Sean Jelly. Jelly leads that ball up in the strike zone. You can see him hop right as soon as that ball's hit, going, man, I hung it, and Cole banged it out of the yard. He'll get the hog out. Payoff pitch, and he missed. And boy, Squire's having a hard time just coming to Fletcher in. He smokes one down the right field line, and that ball's fair. We'll see if Brownfield might have a chance to score. Johnson having problems with the baseball, and that will give Bonfield a chance to score standing. And Fletcher, who has struggled this year, ropes a double into the corner to make a 2 0 haul. The line on it right now. Another RBI from Jordan McFarland, and the Hogs have put up three here in the first inning. And what a boost! Second and on base percentage. Their approach has worked. Fletcher just turning and running back towards the center field. Fence, he's at the wall! And he did not catch it. A home run for Cottom. Number six on the year. Knight rolls one in there for strength three called, and Dawson down looking. Off Knight rolling towards McFarland. He's going to scoop, and then he missed the base runner. He's saying the base runner is out because he ran outside the box. Mark Chapman, the plate umpire, called it rather than Ray Gregerson, but now the concern for Arkansas is on Blaine Knight. Yeah, he's really coming up limping. Let's see where it hits Blaine. Looks like a hamstring. And you look, yeah, he clearly runs out of the path. Get hit. Watch this ball is smoked, the one hopper. Let's see where this ball hits. There's not a lot of padding where that ball hit. Off the calf. Now the rule on this is if he does come out of the ball game. Troy left his glove on yeah, the mound. That, that, that is strange. I mean, there it is. So he's got to be coming back for that. You think? I don't know what they just did. Maybe sprayed a little free spray on that ankle. That's a dramatic re-entrance. of the game for Blaine. That's a swing. Yes, sir, on the appeal, says our third base umpire, and that is a strikeout to end the inning. So Blaine Knight, with a little bit of drama and some pain, gets out of the frame. Up under the chin of Martin. Got hit again. He's up to nine HBP. There go the runners. And the Hogs will get a free run as Cook will force home Martin. Brown ball to right for a base hit between Chatty and McFarland. And even with up the middle. See if it hits the bag. Biggers gets the out in second, and he gets the double play at first. Dragging that back foot across the pillow. And the Hogs have created ways to turn two this week. Watch Biggers. He's feeling that ball on the second base side of second base, and just with Perfect accuracy, and then he throws like a helium ball over to Nice. Pinks the outside corner and a pump fist to end the fourth inning. Here's the lead off. Back to the top of the lineup. 
Biggers sends one down the right field line. Johnson pursuing. He's not going to get there. Biggers is going to try and hustle this into a double. The throw is not in time. Biggers read that perfectly. That Johnson trying to get the feel for it. One and more arm side run. That ball's launched to right. Back goes Cole nearing the fence. It's Fletcher instead who's there on the track. Runners take off. Chopper to third. Tough play by Martin. That's a fair ball. He's going to bounce yeah. one to first. Not near in time to get the speedy Pompey. Rindle. Rindle's a guy that was led the league in ERA in SEC innings for relievers. He had 29 innings a season ago. A four-pitch walk. It'll force in a run. Rick with a miss. There's your answer. Came back with a breaking ball, and he gets the K. Little chopper into the shift. That is the third baseman higher and safe at first. Kerstad beat him out. He's always wanted to be a Wildcat. You ask and you shall receive. That is a no-doubter disappearing into the Arkansas night. Grant Cook just hit a bomb to the hill. It just felt like it was coming, and teams have been pitching him. Put the hog hat on him. Watch this location extension. Watch Dave Van Horn's reaction in the background. He knows that ball is absolutely crushed. Cook doesn't even watch it. He's like going, that ball's tattooed. 2 1 pitch from Rindle. Big bounce for Martin at third base. Two gone. Off the glove. The play made it first by Shetty. And the 1 4 3 out. At least two more. A long time. There he gets the swing and a miss. That's the difference of those two. Drives another one to left. And this is a two homer game for Grant Cook. You just do not pitch Grant Cook on the inside half of the play. He will absolutely destroy you. Inside corner. Was he watched that one that yeah, time? Yeah, he knew that one was out too. Got a better look. Over the bullpen. Shaddy smokes one. This one back to the fence, and it's off the wall. Pompey couldn't get it. Aklinski backs it up, and Shaddy in standing at second. Smokes one down the right field line and a bit of the track. Easily scoring Shaddy and Jackson at second with an RBI double. It's an 8 2 Arkansas lead. This game is Matt Cronin. He has been the closer for the Hogs. He comes along with one out here in the seventh inning. Dawson rolls one into right for a base hit on a two strike pitch. Higher will be held at third. There's runners on the corner. More cats on the base. Kentucky's had all kinds of base runners tonight. And they'll add a run here. Squires with another base hit is third of the game. And it's an 8-3 game. The 1-2 pitch. In the right center for a base hit heading towards the fence. Dawson will score. Squires to third. He'll stop. And it's an 8-4 game. Telling these Wildcats can hit. Found himself inserted into the three hole today. Make it a blue pit. See if this one falls. It will. In front of Johnson. Who's playing deep and right. Going to hit one off the scoreboard. High drive. Deep left center field. And it is caught. Not a grand slam, but a sack fly. So I've hit two home runs. And they keep fouling balls off me. That's got to be straight for it. So that's in the ninth. Swing and a miss. Back out. Now let is the strikeout victim. Give Kentucky a lot of credit for what they've done. This game could end here. Back there is Shaddy. Whole game over. And it's the Arkansas Razorbacks with a 9-4 win to take the conference opener.